Y'all just have a moment of silence with this hair. Hey y'all. So I'm coming to show y'all some uh, new hair that I bought. Hair that I got was from uh, KamariHair.com. So when I got the hair, uh, it came with this little card um, and it says thank you with my name on it. So it's a little personalized card which I thought was cute. This is the owner. I'm not sure if you can see the picture. I think her name is Corel because that's what it had on the, uh, the box. I ordered the hair on, this is version of Cambodian wavy hair by the way. But I ordered the hair on ordered one bundle um, and then like I had to wait. Like I waited until um, she responded to look for like another bundle to match with it. Because on their website they have, um, they basically have each wavy selection according to like the donor. Um, so all the patterns are completely different. So you kind of have to like match them together. And then also they come in different ounces. So uh, each bundle is not the standard 3.5 ounces, you know, to 4 ounces or whatever that you normally get when you buy like pre-bundled hair. Um, the bundles range. I mean, I've seen some that were like 2 ounces, some were 3, some were 4, some were 5. Okay, the two that I got, both of them were 5.6 ounces a piece which is uh, enough for me because I normally order three bundles of hair from you know whatever vendor I use and the bundles are normally three ounces so you know that's like nine ounces all together and I normally have way more than enough for a full head so I'm pretty sure that almost 11 ounces of hair um, should be enough you know for me or whatever now when I got the hair uh, they came in these little sacks okay um, I ordered two different types of wavy blends. It came in these little sacks, which are little cute sacks. Um, the first the one that I up. got was the um, name Waldo. And this is it. Do you see this beauty? Like, do you see it? Like, <laughs> do you see this? Okay. Um, I wrote down the specs, so let me go ahead and tell you. This is a 18 to 20 inch. The name is Waldo, and the price was $303.60, okay? The price was $303.60, um, <clears throat> and this is 5.6 ounces of hair. This is not the hair. Um, it basically looked the same way when I got it, but this is co-washed. So then I got, the uh, name of it was Roddy or Rody, I think. Like, I don't know how you'd say it. It might be Roddy, R-O-D-D-Y. And this was a 16 to 18. Okay. This bundle was also 5.6 ounces as well. Okay. Now, as you can tell, this bundle is not as wavy as the Waldo bundle. Um, basically, when I called her, she went ahead and when I, uh, you know, extra match it for me, she went ahead and FaceTime me. And she did pick out, you know, another bundle that was wavy like the Waldo one. The only issue is that it wasn't as dark. Um, if I have an option, I prefer not to have to dye extensions because I absolutely hate doing it. It's just like something else added on to the to-do list. So, I mean, I didn't want to have to go through that. So, um, to get less wave but basically the same color, it like basic, you know, it worked for me. So that's why they're different, but when you put them together, um, it's it's gonna, you know, it's, it's gonna blend. I mean, not simply, it's gonna blend uh, seamlessly together. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's gonna blend good. Okay. This price on this one was two sixty nine ten. Um, they did have a sale. She had a Fourth of July. 20% off everything and so I did get 20% off of both of them off of the Waldo one I got like $60 off and off of the Roddy I got a uh, 50 bucks off on that okay so my total amount of the paying was around 575 the shipping um the shipping I'm in Louisiana um, I'm not sure if it's standard shipping for everywhere in the US but I did the standard shipping it cost me 10 bucks I ended up having to pay 20 because I ordered them at separate times so um I paid ten dollars for each one of my orders, but it's it's not a big deal. And so I did order this on. Um, I ordered the first bundle on the fourth of July, but then, like I said, I was waiting to do another one to match it and everything. So I actually caught her Monday morning, you know, right before she actually went shook off the first one I ordered, 
and I ended up catching her just in time. And so she went ahead and matched these for me and she sent them off at the same time. So Monday, what was, Monday was the 6th. So she shipped it off Monday the 6th. It was like a two day shipping and I received it on Wednesday. So it did come in a great amount of time. It didn't take long at all. Now to say like, you know, first impression of this hair, y'all just looking at it is so like, oh my God, it looks so good. Like, do you see this? Like, do you, do you see this? Oh my God, it looks so good. What I love about it the most though, is that it's already dark, you know, like, like it's some like true jet black damn hair. And I love that because I don't have to worry about trying to dye it because like washing out dye is so aggravating to me like I'm still washing dye out of this damn hair and I don't even know why it's still in there like I don't know what else to do but I like the fact that I don't have to worry about dyeing it and I'm not gonna dye it like I don't even care if it came brown because it's so pretty I just don't want to alter it in any way actually <laughs> I just don't and so uh, you know looking at it uh, it seems uh, it seems nice the ends, I can tell you, are not split at all. So it looked like it went through like pretty much a, a process of getting the split ends and everything off. And uh, because the ends are actually they're very full, like y'all, they are, they are very full. And um, I'm looking at the hair like I know that this is gonna be way more than enough. You know what I'm saying? Like I I won't need any more. And what I was gonna do. I was thinking about ordering like a a 14 to 16 or like 12 to 14 if they have it because the hair is just so pretty that I don't want to cut it like I just don't want to cut it I plan on putting it in I know I'm gonna sew it in but I just you know I like to frame my face with layers but it's just it's so pretty and you know being that it's expensive hair like you really don't want to cut too much of it you know so I might end up getting a I might end up getting some more you know that's not so much just like a couple ounces just that way I can you know put in the front and frame my face but I don't know I'm just I'm just gonna I'm gonna see about that because maybe maybe I won't it might not be that big of a deal depending on how much I have left uh, another option I can always go get some like cheap human hair from the store just to put a few pieces right there that I can frame instead of having it because the weft construction like let me see how I can explain this to you like the wefts are not thick at all the wefts are actually real thin so that's kind of like, like I don't know how good you can see, but see the weft, the weft is like really, really thin. And that's a good thing because, you know, if I was to fold it over, which I plan on doing when I sew it in, you know, I can still get a flat sewing and it should, you know, it should fold over like seamlessly or whatever. Okay, and so it's a thin weft, but it's not like a thin, cheap weft. Like, you know how you go to... A beauty supply store you buy that you know like the cheap bundled hair you know like the, the the $20 pack hair and it has like the thinnest damn wefts on it um or even you buy the expensive hair I've noticed at the beauty supply store that it comes with really really tiny wefts like why would you have like such weak ass wefts on like some high hair like that part of it I never understood but anyways this is thin but it's sturdy so I said all that to get to that that it's it's thin but like it's it's not going anywhere like it's it's really really it's actually it's really constructed real good like yeah it's constructed real good it's real nice like I don't know if you can actually see it but it's it's real good it's constructed real real nice and so i do love that about it i like the fact that it's 100 percent full these little um tabs on the end they did have a little card that came on it that pretty much had the specs of the hair you know the the name the length and everything and what blend it was um you know so I'll i mean just looking at it in. like i um i mean i like it this right here, I mean, this is this is with nothing in it, okay? So this is after co-washing and um, just air drying, okay? Just air drying. And right now it is Saturday, and so I washed this Wednesday night, and I just, I didn't have no motivation to get up and film anything. But, um, you know, so this is how it looks after co-washing. It, it looks really good, like. I don't know it, it looks it looks gorgeous I've never had a raw Cambodian hair before and that's what this you know supposedly is but whatever virgin hair is virgin hair uh what I will say 
about this when I washed the hair, when I co-washed it. Um, I've never felt hair like this before. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, um, I do not explain it. It's like if you had a baby doll, like a Barbie doll when you were like younger and you like wet the hair, how it would be like stiff. Like it just like absorbed the water and it was just like stiff and dry, like just up. Um, that's how, that's how it felt. Like it felt kind of like plastic and I don't know what's the reason for that. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's the reason, but that, that's how it felt. It felt like a little hard when the water touched it, but I mean, when I put the conditioner in it, it was all smooth and everything. So, it, but it's, it still felt kind of weird and I'm not sure what to think about that, but you know, the first thing that came to mind was like, oh my God, like <laughs> what type of shit is this? What I done got myself into? But, um, it, it ended up working out fine. I washed it out and everything. It was good. Prior to me co-washing the hair, it was, uh, it smelled like conditioner, like it, or whatever it was, but whatever it was, it, it smelled great. It didn't have a corn chip smell or anything. Um, it was a really strong smell. It actually smelled like perfume and the smell was like really strong to where it kind of gave me a slight headache. <laughs> so, um... But it didn't stink. You know, it smelled okay. Now, I can say that when I was washing it and uh, when I wash my bundles, like, I fold them, you know, wash it in a bundle. But then I, I unfold them and fold them in opposite directions so that way I can get every piece of the hair and make sure, like, I truly let, you know, all of it, like, saturate in the conditioner or whatever. Um, like, I was smelling something and I just didn't know what it was. And, like, I went ahead and I, uh... Like, I, I brought it up to my nose, like, one of the webs, like, a piece of it, and I, like, sniffed it, and oh my god, it smelled like gym sweat. <laughs> like, it smelled like it came off somebody's head, like, and it was just, like, I don't know, like, they just left out the boys' locker room. Um, that was an awkward thing, but whatever, like, I'm just telling y'all, you know, what happened, but, um, nevertheless, it, it, it washed well. There was no dye. I didn't see anything running out of the hair. No no type of color whatsoever. So um, I wouldn't say it's anything processed or anything. And you know, so as of right now, I mean, I like it. I'm confused as to what I want to do with it. Like, I don't know if I want... I know I'm definitely going to sew it in because I'm just... I'm in the position where I'm kind of over you parts at the moment. Something else that you want to know, just go ahead and put it in the comments. I'll be sure to respond to you. So next time, you guys, rate, comment, subscribe. And